MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the National League Championship Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, I can't help but be impressed with the way these guys have come into this series and just flat out handled their business. They're hitting on all cylinders, and I don't want to fully count out the other guys, but if the last three games are any indication of how this will play out, I think this series could be over really quick. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Jose Quintana will do the pitching with a trip to the World Series on the table. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, thanks, Matt. Lefty Jose Quintana taking the bump right now. Really like this guy. Not overpowering, but great command of the fastball. And he does something a lot of lefties don't do. He'll come in with that fastball to right. He's three-pitch guy. Fastball, curveball, changeup. Throws all three for strikes. Not an overpowering guy, but he is really a control artist. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Into the bleachers and gone. A solo home run there for Mookie. His first homer here in the series, and they've taken a one-run lead. I thought the leadoff hitter is supposed to set the table for the guys behind him. Not the case with that swing at a bat right now. Game's changed, fellas. Get ready for a good one. To the plate now, Corey Seager. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber is camped under this one, and he's got it for the first down. Batting third, the first baseman, Matt Munchie. one-one pitch ground ball sent back up the middle a dive but he can't knock it down it's through for a base hit hey just a nice piece of hitting right there he's able to keep his hands inside that ball stay square as long as possible and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit so now to the plate Cody Bellinger Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Hayward has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. That is fair. The designated hitter, a day home.
Muncie. A runner at first with two gone. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Their count now at two and two. High in the air out to center field. will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Julio Arias is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one two still a ball and two strikes the one two loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left gone out onto Waveland Avenue. Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. His second home run of the series, and the Cubs are back to even now at one run apiece. Place is going nuts right here. You want to get your fans involved? Lead off hitter, take them deep in your home yard. tied up following the home run and here comes the first baseman Anthony Rizzo the 2 1 ball three Weak rounder back to the mound. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Batting third. No shortstop. Javier. Javier. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. In past meetings with Julio Urias, he's gone two for five. He's taken him deep once. Called strike two. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here, but he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. Glove by Turner. Throw gets him. Two down. Cubs four hole hitter Kyle Schwarber looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 1 1 home. Strike two swinging. A nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. 
two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more of Game 4 on MLB Network right after this. Second inning coming up in Chicago. Man, with more on the weather forecast, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay, but the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Brown first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Second, nobody out. Turner in front at three balls in a strike. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Strike number two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle continue. Here's another 2 2. Gavin Lux is on deck. First and second here with nobody out. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Stepping in, Gavin Lux. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. Here's the 1 1. Well, and they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Gets the ground ball to first. This might be two to second for one. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. 
A base is loaded. Now, last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Two and one now to Mookie. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field and that's through into right field for a base hit and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead looks like the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him don't like to see that in the second inning but once he makes sure he's okay physically I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way Standing in now, Corey Seager. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Here's the 2-2. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, he's got to find a way to get himself out of this. This is constant traffic, and here he finds himself in the second with two outs, and he's still giving up knocks. Well, it's about trying to limit the pitch count. Also, only in the second inning here, and his pitch count's getting up, up, up. He's had a lot of traffic on the bases, so he really needs to get out of this one right here. At the plate, Max Muncy. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. There's ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, bases loaded. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Three and one to him now. Three and one. Here it is. Drive and that's a base hit into center field. One run scores. And the second run will score as well. Dan, from a pitcher standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden you give up that big base hit that drives into frustrating for a pitcher. Late now, AJ Pollock, and here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. 
This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So our situation has the bases loaded, two men out, and that means the plug-and-play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. And that ends the inning. So they strike for four runs in the inning, but are denied a chance to really do damage as they leave the bases loaded. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Dodgers lead it five to one. Bottom of the inning now, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that's out number one. Batting foot. The right field. Hayward. Settling in now, Jason Hayward. The one two. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Here's Cameron Maven now to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We played two full. It's the Dodgers five and the Cubs one. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi? Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He cited their low chase rate, or percentage of swings that are on pitches outside of the strike zone, as one reason for their success so far in this game. That number is under 20% right now. So up and down the lineup, they're doing a great job of picking on pitches they're more likely to do damage with. Thank you, Heidi. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now Digging in for his second at bat, Will Smith reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now the one and one pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. Two down. So stepping in, Gavin Lux. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. They're up five to one. third now and standing in the outfielder Ian Happ now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two 
Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo, up and in. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Stepping in now, Nico Horner. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The batter, the third baseman. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Bryant. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Bryant looking at a three and one count. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Runners on first with one down. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Riding in once again, Anthony Rizzo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. A runner on first with two away. Lifted in the air to center field. Bellinger's under it. And that retires the side. Cubs strand one. They're down here five to one. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. Five one our score as we play the fourth here. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. One one. It's a breaking ball in off the plate. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Hey. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard up the middle. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Some success with two away, and the top of the fourth is still alive. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone, think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. To the plate now, Cody Bellinger. High and deep down the left field line. That will end up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 
full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pick. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Stepping in and ready for another shot. A.J. Pollock, two men on, two away here in the fourth. Fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two and two. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Five runs, seven hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The runner from first crosses the plate. It's now seven to one. Yeah, Matt, I think his only hope is to try to get out of this fourth inning and maybe try to regroup for the fifth. But this is eight hits he's given up already, so he might even have trouble doing that. Chicago manager up out of the dugout now as he'll make the slow walk to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll do it for Jose Quintana. So he'll depart here tonight and these fans will not be terribly appreciative I don't imagine as he was pretty much dreadful in this one. Tyler Chatwood answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Tyler Chatwood. So now to the plate, Kike Hernandez. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Digging in once again, Justin Turner. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So it's two runs on two base hits. No errors. And two men left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go. L.A.'s on top. Seven to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Stepping in is the veteran shortstop. Javier Baez. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Fouled off. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in. Kyle Schwarber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. One run, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Hernandez is under this one. And that's out number two.
So now with two out and the base is empty is Wilson Contreras. The 3 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Skied into straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're down seven to one. Stepping into the box, Will Smith. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Now the one and one pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And bye bye, that one's gone into the bleachers. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first homer so far in the series, as this is now a seven run ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Into the box now, Gavin Lux. Sliced hard down the left field line. And the Dodgers bats just keep going as this is extra bases as well. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, he almost blew that fastball by but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Here's Mookie Betts. He was a ground out victim last time up. No one out with a runner at second. They have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. And this one gets away. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. drive and that's a base hit in the center field and they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third it's a 9-1 ball game boy this guy's having a great no, game here so far D. Rowe. home run earlier in the night and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game yeah you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's wind up and that's exactly been the case today he not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Ball taken there. Two and one now. From the stretch. That's a free one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that misses for ball four, and it's first and second now with nobody out. Right about now, the manager's questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. 
We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Now batting, Max Muncy. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. None out. Runners at first and second. Popped him up. Therefore, it is Baez, and he's got it for the first out. So here's Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. Fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Runners are at first and second with one away. Cutter and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner. But he couldn't get him to chase. And he doesn't get the call. You can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Now at the plate, A.J. Pollock. A hit in two tries for him so far. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit in the air to right field. Hayward has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home, and he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with a sack fly. Ryan Tapera gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Hernandez behind the ball and two strikes. And a cut fastball but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Three runs already home here. Short hit hard. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So three runs on three hits including the home run. No errors and two men left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Cubs 1. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi.
No contact there, and it's one and two. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Ready to deliver the one and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Late Cameron Maven. Carrying a bit out toward right center. And Mabin is going to wind up here with extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. Standing in now, Ian Happ. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Now the 2-1. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2-2 two two now. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Lux is under it, one away. Digging in, Nico Horner. He drew a walk his first time up. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Hernandez has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at-bat. This one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south, elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now, the two two down the left field line and deep, and that's gonna land foul. Ready with another 2 2. Rip down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Oh, 
one and one here it is nearly got the inside but ruled the ball two out here and a runner at second ball three. pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact I'm seeing him aim the ball right now and that's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be you got to trust your stuff the three one you know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with now the payoff pitch home full count still The next 3 2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And to score, the runner from second. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy throws out a fillet of fish to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap that inside out swing. As a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good a swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart here, and you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win, but he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. Well, Dustin May please. takes over here with a runner now, at first and two gone in the inning. Number 85, Dustin May. Late now, Javier Byers in there, one and two now. Two out with the man at first. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Cubs 4. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. The 1 1 pitch. Nope. Two balls and a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Set and the 2 1 pitch hit hard on the ground to the right, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now that Pepper will miss. at the plate. Will Smith swing line drive that's going to be trouble. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The batter, number nine. Into the box, Gavin Lux shoots this one over to first. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. In to score, the runner from third. For the third, and he's out. But they do play to run on the play. The battle, the right fielder, Mookie. In now, Mookie Betts. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. The battle, number five, Goldstein. Here's Corey Seager. It was a walk in his last trip. Oh, 
The one two. Misses ball two. First and second now one man out. Swing and a miss and they'll dodge a major bullet that time two away. Next up is Max Muncy. One one is looked at for ball number two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. The two one is taken high and outside but for a strike. Now the 2 2. Popped him up. Bryant has room in foul territory, and that's the third out. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. Dodgers lead this one 11 to 4. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Wilson Contreras is on deck. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger is underneath this one and he's got it for out number one. Now that, now At the plate, it. Wilson Contreras. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. A strike to Contreras and it's one and one. One out, nobody on. He stays alive, still two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Lifted in the air to center. Bellinger's under it. Two gone. Now Here's Jason the Hayward field. now. He's one for two Jason. in the ball game. Hayward. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. They'll need to pick it up. It's 11 to 4. Seventh inning ready to roll, and digging in is the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. Still even at two and two. Here it comes. 
This one is launched. Look at this. On to Sheffield and gone. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. His second home run of the series as they've widened this lead to eight now. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Yeah, Matty B, you don't see this very often, d -Row, when it's cold and chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back. Striding into the box, Kike Hernandez. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Bases are empty, one man out. Good battle, count remains full. The 3 2, one more time. Fouled away. Fouls this one off. The next 3 2. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And it's fouled away. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. Finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Into the box now, Justin Turner. Slow little grounder left side. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. So it's one run on one base hit. The home run. No errors. And no one left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Dodgers 12 and the Cubs 4. Digging in and looking for more, Cameron Mabin. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hit in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 3-2 pitch. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Well, that's always the danger when you've got a lead that's this big. You know there's not a lot of doubt about the outcome of the game, so you lose focus a little bit in the field. And sometimes, as a player, you try to trick yourself into playing like it's a close game, so you stay sharp. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Nobody out, runner on first. A little early, and now it's even at 2 and 2. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Standing in, Michael Horner. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 1-1. One -one. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Hernandez is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in. Chris Bryant. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The 2-1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One left for the Cubs. They're in trouble here. It's 12-4. New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Will Smith. Get him down now. The three and one pitch. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to Number challenge him. Nine. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Coming to the plate now, Gavin Lux. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The 1-1 home. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard now single back. up the middle. Right yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back yeah. right where it came from. Dan Winkler comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Winkler. Mookie Betts will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. is one and two now with this one almost in books the story was clearly the long ball what are your thoughts on this offense fellas well Matty V I don't know what your thoughts are D Roll, but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitch and the second run will score as well man he's been killing it all game long those two RBIs bring his total for the game to five so he's been at his best when it matters most no doubt making a bid for player of the game to the plate now Corey Seager swing and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes here you chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard of those 17 inches. The one two. There's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. Two two. Full count. Three two. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. So now to the plate, Max Muncy turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Fouled off. A 
again a one two and a fastball blew it right by him and they're two down. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead of the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now Cody Bellinger. No offer on that one two balls and a strike. Two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Just hung in there on that one. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. fouled away. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits no errors and a runner left not too many more shots left home half of the eighth coming up Dodgers out in front 14 to four. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate singled homer run in his last time up. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Swing and a line drive. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Javier Baez will be next. And the sinking fastball called strike three and that's out number one. Here's Javier Baez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Two and two count. Here it comes. Into right field. That's a base hit. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. One of the toughest pitches they hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't that seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Real Gets good. the string pulled on him right John there. Had right. no chance to put that ball in play. Into 
the box Wilson Contreras a little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And another foul ball. The one two is taken for ball two. A runner on first with two away. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one, and as you can see, they are way behind. Pedro Stroh enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Pedro Into the box now, A.J. Pollock. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Two and one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Here it comes. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Kike Hernandez is on deck. Three-two pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. In now, Kike Hernandez. Down low, two balls and a strike. Stroke has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball. But it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. To the plate now, Justin Turner wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Runners on first with one down. Slider laid off for a ball. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Here it is on three and one. Hard liner towards short. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. Next for the Dodgers, Will Smith. He's two for three with a home run and a double. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A., but not to fear as they hold a commanding lead.
Scott Alexander, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Scott Alexander. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. He's set. Here's the three and two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now it'll be the Cubs' DH, Cameron. Cameron Maven. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at-bat. Three and two now. Alexander is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. On the ground to the right side. Oh, a diving stop. How about that? Big league play in the hole right there, and that's a pretty good example of why getting hits at this level is so difficult. You know he was running down the line thinking, for real? You gotta be kidding me. Cubs are down to their final out now, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. The 1-1. One -one. At the ball. it hard towards second and he'll put this one away and with that the ball game is over well that wasn't exactly a nail biter but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day a comfortable victory This one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. There's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason, and that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. Fourteen to four is the way this one ends. The Dodgers trail in this series three games to one. Dustin May earns the victory on the mound. Jose Quintana allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 59 minutes. Tonight's state of tanking at Wrigley Field.